Coming up on this week's edition of Thunder Insider, the Thunder return home for six games straight. We examine the offensive emergence of Serge Ibaka and how the Thunder's defense has improved with each game. You know, we just got to make second and third efforts. And, you know, in this league, it's two or three or four passes to a shot. And, you know, we got to be on point for 24 seconds of defense. And we'll show you how several of the players made a special visit to Tinker Air Force Base on Veterans Day. It was hard work today. You know, we re really uh, got into it, and it was just fun being here, uh, you know, especially today, I think. It's all coming your way, starting right now on Thunder Insider. Welcome into another edition of Thunder Insider. I'm Leslie McCaslin, joined by Matt Pinto and Brian Davis. Guys, it's time to get comfortable. The <laughs> Thunder are home for six game in a row. Their next road game isn't until December 3rd, so that means two weeks. to get to sleep in their own beds, practice in their own facility. BD, what are the benefits of being home for this long so early in the year? Full off day practices mm -hmm. are to coaching staffs like gold. Now, the good news for the Thunder is that in their first four home games, Oklahoma City came back trailing after three quarters and won the ball game. But the bottom line is, fellas, that the coaching staff would very much like for this team not to be 12 points down like they were against Washington and like they were against Denver. You know, they want to they want to get the fundamentals in the right place, they want to get back to the basics, play better basketball so that they don't have to scramble and come back and win like that. Those are two sub-500 teams. The rest of the homestand, with the exception of Utah Sunday, it's definitely not the case. So they know they've got to play more consistently and better at a higher level and sustain that if they're going to have success. And they believe they can really establish their home court as one of the best in the NBA, as they did last season. Yeah, it's an important stretch because all six of these come against Western Conference opponents. Half of them are against division opponents. Well, one way, they have been playing better basketball when it comes to rebounding. They're out rebounding their opponents by an average of four a game. They're fifth in the league right now in their last 10. So what have you seen, Matt, as far as how they've improved on, on this? Big point of emphasis in training camp. It's kind of a unified effort. Sergi Baca, by the numbers, is the most substantial climber in terms of what's going on. But they have a good rebounding team in terms of the guards double back and they've got size and athleticism like Reggie Jackson, like Russell Westbrook. So it makes a difference. Tabo Cephalosh is one of the best rebounding shooting guards in the NBA. But the area to me that we're looking at them on the defensive glass here, Brian, that they've really jumped up is on the offensive boards. They had 19 offensive rebounds against Denver and 25 second chance points. That mitigates against some of those fringe areas that are not at the level of consistency they're looking for right now. Yeah, that's right. And the other thing to go back to the other end of the floor, Matt, is that it's sometimes not how much but when. For instance, the Thunder out-rebounded Denver 19-10 in the fourth quarter of that game on Monday at Chesapeake Arena. Uh, Milwaukee had a dozen offensive rebounds, and that was a big issue last season and the season before, but they only had two offensive rebounds in the fourth quarter after the Thunder gave up a dozen through three quarters. So, uh, And to your point, getting the guards involved, that was a point of emphasis. And Cephalosha averaging a half dozen boards a game, I think that we're seeing that, that, that plan being brought to fruition out on the floor. Well, it's been a focus of this team from training camp to get better on the boards. It's also made some of these players better offensively, including Serge Ibaka, who has really emerged in his last few games. Here's what Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook had to say about their teammate. Serge puts it on the deck and throws it down at the rim. You know, he can score in so many different ways, whether it's shooting, whether we throw the ball to him in the post, and he's shooting a nice little hook shot, you know, so. You know, he don't have to dribble, he don't have to do too many moves, just catch you, catch dunk. And the tomahawk finish for Ibaka. Catch make one move, and you know, he's at the rim. The offensive rebounding has really been his strong point so far this season. Just running the floor, running the floor, rebounding the ball. He's been basically doing his job, and uh, he's doing it at a high level. Serge does a great job of playing off his teammates. You know, he's good at flashing to the basketball, shooting it, ducking in, offensive rebounding. He's one of those players that um, you know, you don't have to call the play for him, for him to score. Well, in a stretch of six games during the month of November, Serge averaged 18 points, 11 rebounds, and was shooting 64% from the field. What has changed in his game? 
Well, I'll, I'll address that in a second. But I thought Scott Brooks had the best line when it comes to surge. Leading into the Denver game, he said, it's like having Dennis Rodman with a jump shot. I mean, the way he's going to get rebounds. So, but and he can I, make free throws. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you love his footwork. It's so much better now than it was. He can go up and under easily. He holds his position with his pivot foot. And as a result of that, he puts defenders that are one-on-one -on, -one on him at, at his mercy. And, BD, he's added his mid-range game in a variety of different ways. It's still a work in progress, but he's a dramatically better offensive player. Something that I think helps Surge is the return of Russell Westbrook because Russell can attract the attention, collapse a defense in the way that few other people in the game can. So that gives Surge more room to operate down low, backdoor cuts. They're great on the pick and roll together. Uh, and the other thing, too, is that Serge is still a young player. You know, the guy's in his fifth season in the NBA. And what I think is really important for him is his confidence. And I see that growing as well. Yeah, I mean, the coach has talked about, Coach Brooks has said he's putting the ball on the floor better. Kevin Durant says it's his office, offensive rebound. So he's definitely improved all the way around. Ahead on Thunder Insider. In this league, it's two or three or four passes to a shot. You know, we got to be on point for 24 seconds of defense. So. It gives opportunities for us to, to get long rebounds and get transition and do what we do best. 